Hi, wonderful people. It's Wild here. This is part two of how to build a mushroom castle. For part one, check the description down below. Today, I'll show you how to build the three remaining turrets and the gatehouse. So let's get building. For this half of the build, you'll need the materials on your screen now. Keep in mind that with a big build like this, it's always a good idea to have a few extra of each block. We'll start off part two by working on this back right hand tower and we'll need to begin by adding in a floor. For this build, I'll be using dark oak planks for all of the additional stories in the towers. You'll notice when I'm placing these, this is a half slab below these slabs that we placed in part one. Now that that's in, we can get working on the walls, starting with some stripped birch logs, and we're placing these in the corners like this, seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like this. Now we need to add in some doors, so we'll come to the two places in the wall where there are these little walkways. And to build the door, we'll first need to remove these blocks like this. Place in our door with a red mushroom block above it. To do this, you can hold shift and you can click on top of the door itself and then add an oak trapdoor. So I'll do this here as well. Just like this. And then you can take some birch planks and place them on top of these slabs, connecting the whole circle of the tower. And once more, place them in a circle connecting at the top of the tower. Next we'll begin filling in the sections of walls for this part of the tower with white wool, white concrete powder and calcite. I'll start with this wall here as we'll be completely filling it in. You just want to randomise the texture like this and you can always take a step back and relocate some of your blocks to get the look you want. I'll now rotate round and do this wall here and fill it in. And next we'll work on some walls with some windows, starting with the back wall. It's easiest if you place a block, then place your three white stained glass panes and then create the window frame around it. If you're enjoying my tutorials, I'd really appreciate if you could take a moment to like and subscribe. You can see I'm just continuing that randomized texture around this window frame. I'll create a mirroring window frame on the front. This time I've got this red mushroom brick here to place in my glass panes. We'll be adding the window treatments and additional decorations to this tower once the base is completed. For now, it's on to the next story. We'll build up another six, one, two, three, four, five, six, on each of these stripped birch logs. And now we're going to jump straight in and start creating the spaces for the windows. For this, you'll need to fill in to a height of four high with your mushroom stems and then break out the center three. The reason we're placing these in and then breaking them and not just leaving the gap right away is we want this interior mushroom texture. I'll then go across the top with red mushroom blocks and then birch planks. Filling in the window with some white stained glass panes. Now I'll do this on the other faces. Put 
For the third story of this tower, we'll again build up an additional six, one, two, three, four, five, six, with our stripped birch logs. And now we need to start making some window frames. Build across the bottom of the front and back wall with your mixture of white blocks and then build three up with your glass panes. And then you want to fill in the walls around them to create the window frame. And now we can fill in the two remaining walls completely with our mixture of white wool, white concrete powder and calcite. You'll notice as I'm filling in, I'm just going up to the height of one below the top of these pillars. And finally, to fill in this part of the wall, just top it off with some birch planks. We'll be adding one tiny little section on top of this, which is what our roof will sit on. So build up one more with the stripped birch logs and then fill in the gaps with some mushroom stems. So here are the base walls of this tower done. Now we need to add some decoration. First we'll add some separation between the different floors using some smooth sandstone stairs and slabs. Begin by placing them facing outwards, level with these uh, birch planks here, like this, all the way around the tower. And now we'll switch over to slabs and place two coming up so there's one on this slab and one on the mushroom block and one to connect them. Creating a little arch. And then fill in the corners by placing one level with the top of the stairs and one above it. Now we can create this same decoration in front of each of these sections of planks. There we go, that's our first bit of decoration done. Now we'll switch over to some sandstone walls and we'll be placing these in the very corners like this, four each time leaving a one block gap when you face your, place your first group between this wall. And now I'll do these in the other corners. Now you need to add some decorations to the windows starting with this middle mushroom block section. For here, place three buttons across the red mushrooms and then oak trapdoors. Then you can hang a lantern just from this slab here. For the remaining windows, place a red mushroom block with spruce stairs either side and then spruce trapdoors underneath. So these will go on the two windows on the uh, top story and the two windows on the bottom story. Then on the top story, grab some chains and at heights of two chains and one chain, hang some lanterns. You'll see I'm placing these chains off of these upside down stairs.
Here's how the tower is looking so far. Now we'll work on the turret roof. First we'll place some blocks for us to place our roof onto, building up one high with the stripped uh, birch logs and filling in with some cut sandstone. Next we'll create an edge out of spruce planks, stairs and slabs. Build out on top of each of the uh, cut sandstone with some blocks. Then stairs. Followed by a block in each corner. Now we'll be taking some slabs and place them coming out from each of the first blocks, the three wide sections. Like this. Then we will place some slabs in at level with these other ones in the corners. And now we're going to place some slabs on this lower level. You can place a slab underneath the stair and then place your slab on that and break it. And these will go in front of each of our stairs. As well as in the corner here so you can place a slab and a slab underneath and break that slab. Here's how this looks from above. You can see it's a nice circular shape and from the front it almost has a fluted edge. Now we'll be working up the roof with red wool and red mushroom blocks. Now the idea for this roof is that it's mainly built out of red mushroom blocks with splotches of the red wool to break up the texture. We'll be going in panels starting by adding two high sections on top of these spruce blocks here. And like with randomizing textures on the walls, you can always take a step back and change the blocks out to make sure it fits the look you're going for. Then I'm going to build around the um, two high sections we've just added in. Like this. And I'll do this on each face. Now we'll do the same thing, this time filling in the corner. You'll need to have another block on standby to make sure you don't place any red mushroom blocks on top of ones you've already placed um, unless you want it to connect, otherwise it'll break the texture. I'm just building around, filling in the corner here. Going right up over the top like this. And then I will build up an additional one high across the three and then two high on top. So each face should look like this. We're almost at the top of the roof now and we'll continue filling in the corners like this and building over the top of the points. If 
If you do something like this and end up with the interior texture of the mushroom showing, you can just go in and replace those blocks. Now I'll build up two high on top of each of the middles of each of these faces of this square we've got here. And then finally I'll build up two high on the very top of our mushroom um, peak and finish it off with some spruce planks. Here's what we've got. Now we're going to add some decoration to this roof just using some spruce fences and I'm placing these either side of these first two blocks that we placed and going right up the height of the tower. And I'll do this on each of the sides. Doing this just adds a little bit of depth to the roof. Now we will adorn the very top of the roof with a flag. Now it's important you make sure the flags are facing the same way throughout your build. I'll build one, two, three, four, five high with my spruce fences. And then using red and white wool, I'll create this flag. First I'll build across three. Then I'll come down on a diagonal like this across two down and forward on a diagonal like this and then I will line the bottom of it with white wool. And I'm going to come towards the back for the final block. Here's how that looks. And I've chosen for all of my flags to go towards the right. Here's how the whole castle is looking so far. We've got the back turret in, the great keep, and now it's time to work on the two front turrets. Now these two front towers are fairly similar, so I'll show you the sections of walls where they differ at first, then the section of tower which is the same across each, and then we'll add some to this tower here to make it taller. Start by coming to the left tower and find these three stone bricks here which are right next to the wall, and then you want to build too high with your mixture of a white concrete powder, white wool and calcite. Like this. Then you want to come round to the side from the walkway here and place in your door with a red mushroom block above it. Then you want to place an oak trap door in front, in front of this red mushroom block and then build up to the height of this mushroom block with your white blocks. Like this. Then finally build across the top with some birch planks. Next we'll work on this wall here on the right side tower. And we just want to build up with our white blocks like this. And then come across the top with your birch planks. You can then check that these birch planks are level across the two towers. If you're doing this in creative, line up your cursor with the birch planks and then just fly across. Or if you're doing it in survival, you can stand on top of the block, open your debug menu and see what your Y level is. And then do the same thing over there and it should be the same. Now we can get working on the rest of the tower. This section that we're building now replicates exactly over across the two towers. So this six high pillar of stripped birch logs here would replicate over to here on this left tower. Continuing up our tower, we'll build six high in each of the corners with our stripped uh, birch logs. like this and then we will fill in this wall completely up to the height of just below these pillars here.
and then we'll place some birch planks above it. Now coming round to the front of the build and going through to the back wall of this tower, we'll build up two high with our white blocks. And place a spruce door, a red mushroom block on top and a trap door in front of it. Build up to the height of the red mushroom block with our white blocks. And build across the top with some birch planks. Then on the front wall of the tower we need to make a space for a window so place a white block, build three high with white stained um, glass panes and then create a window frame around this. Like this and build across the front with the birch planks. For the next story, build an additional six high with the stripped birch logs, one, two, three, four, five, six, on each of the corners. Then on each face, build four high, one, two, three, four, with some mushroom stem blocks and break a hole for the window. Again, we're doing this so we get the interior mushroom texture. Then fill in the gap with the white stained glass panes. And build across the top with red mushroom blocks. Finally, to create the walls, fill in the top with some birch planks. Now we'll add some decorations to this part of the tower, starting with this lower window here, which will have a red mushroom block, some spruce stairs, and some spruce trapdoors underneath it like this. Then we'll add some decoration to these upper windows with three spruce buttons and some oak trapdoors. And each of these windows gets this same decoration. Like this. Now we'll add some separation between these two stories with some um, smooth sandstone stairs and slabs. I'll begin by placing these facing outwards in the corners level with these spruce of uh, these birch planks. Then on front of these birch planks, I'll come out to either side. And then I'll take some smooth sandstone slabs and place them one in front of the birch planks and one in front of the mushroom blocks. On the upper story, I'll just place some coming out of the corners. Finally, take some chains and lanterns and I'll be hanging some off of these top stairs at different heights. I'll be placing them at heights of one chain, two chains and three chains. Now this complete section can then be replicated onto this left tower here. Here's how the tower looks now that I've taken this section of tower and replicated over on the left. The only difference you'll see is that I've hung a couple of the lanterns at different heights. But you can check that you've replicated your tower section correctly, as there should be a door connected to this walkway here. You should have one window on the upper level of your outside wall here. And the two fronts should look the same. 
Now here's where the two tower sections start to differentiate, and we will show this difference with some smooth sandstone slabs. On the right hand tower, just build straight across with slabs on these three birch planks here, all the way around the tower. Because this is the top of this right hand tower, so we're preparing to put a roof on top. Now on the left hand side, come to these birch planks and place stairs facing outwards like this and some slabs in the middle. And I'll do this on each face because we're preparing to put another story on here before we add the roof. Like this. Now to build this story, switch to some stripped birch logs and build up six high. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is in each of the corners where we already have our birch logs. Now there is a window on each of the walls. So I'll place a block in the center of each of the faces. Build three hive with white stained glass on top of each. And then I'll fill in the wall around them. And once again, I'm using my mixture of white wool, white concrete powder and calcite. Now that I've got all of these white blocks in, I'll go across the top of each with some birch planks. And now we've got this story in, we can prepare for the roof by adding in some sandstone stairs in the corners. And then building across the faces with some smooth sandstone slabs. Here's how our two towers look. Now before we can add the roof, we just need to add some decorations to these windows and these are created simply with our spruce stairs, red mushroom blocks and spruce trapdoors. Do this on each of the windows. And then I'm going to hang some chains at heights of 1, 2 and 3 with some lanterns coming off of them. We are really getting here with the castle. We just have the roofs to add to these turrets the gate tower and the gate. So let's get started on these roofs. The roofs on these two towers are the same, so I'll show you one. Start by placing the cut sandstone blocks on top of your birch planks like this, and then we'll create a spruce edge, starting with some blocks in the center of each face. Then I'll place stairs on either side, Then I'll come out two slabs from each of these stairs and this is at the height of the stair. And then I'll switch back to some spruce planks and place these in the corners. Now we'll switch back to our spruce slabs and place one coming out from these here blocks. And then on either side at the lower level come across two like this with some slabs. Finally to finish off this edge I'll place one in the very corner at the lower level. Now for the red part of the roof. Again, we'll have a mainly red mushroom blocks with little splotches of red wool for texture. So I'm going to come up too high and create a diagonal point on each of the faces. Like this. 
and you'll see I'm going into the corner here, making sure there's no gaps in the roof. Now I'll come one back in the corner like this and come up three high and again create a nice diagonal point. If you enjoy my builds, check out my Patreon, where you can build alongside me on my server and I can help you design and build in-game. Here's how the roof is looking. Once again for the next section, I'm coming in and going over the top of these points to create a nice diagonal. once again if you place a mushroom block next to another one of your mushroom block and end up with the interior texture you can always just replace it. Finally to finish off this roof I'll build up too high and then place a spruce plank on top. And then switch to some spruce fences and come right up the center of each face. Now I'll replicate this roof over on the outer tower. Here's how both towers look with the roofs. Now we're going to add some flags. So on each I'll build up five high with my fences, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll need to grab out some white wool along with my red wool. And I'll come across two. Then down on the forward diagonal on this left hand side and across two. And down backwards on the diagonal for one. And then I'll come across the bottom with some white wool. Now on the right tower, I'll do just the same, coming up five, one, two, three, four, five. And this time I'll come across two and go on the back diagonal. This just makes the flags look a little more natural and less stiff. Once again, when you're building your flags, make sure they're all pointing the same direction. To begin this small gate tower, I'll build up six high, one, two, three, four, five, six, with some stripped birch logs in each corner of the foundation that we created in the first part of this build. Like this. Now on the front wall, I want to create a little window with a block of wool two white glass panes and a red mushroom block. Then I'll place some birch planks on top of this. On the remaining walls, I'll build up to the height of the red mushroom block with white wool and then top with some birch planks. Then I'll add a white wool on top of each of these. Now in the corners, I'll build up three high with some sandstone walls. Come up to the same height with white wool. And then use some stripped birch logs in the corners. And some birch planks to fill in the rest. So the base of the tower should look like this. Now to add a little bit of decoration, I'll place a spruce button on this red mushroom block. 
and some oak trapdoor window shutters. Now I use some smooth sandstone stairs and slabs to add a little separation between the two stories here. This also helps round off the shape of this tower. Of course it is in fact a square, but having these, um, these decorations which have the corner cut out really makes it look more circular. So I've just got some upside down stairs and some slabs. And then in front of this birch plank here, I'll just place my stairs facing outwards again. And then one slab so it's all flush across the top. Finally, I'll hang some chains down off of these stairs with some lanterns. Might come down three with this one. Now we're ready to build the roof. We'll start this small roof by placing a square of some cut sandstone like this and then creating a spruce edge. The spruce edge begins with spruce planks in the center of each face with a stair on either side. Then I'll place a slab in each corner. A slab in front of the block and down on the diagonal to either side. You'll see this follows the same kind of scalloped edge pattern we have on the other roof on a smaller scale. It looks pretty circular from above. Now we'll build the red roof. And for this, we'll just come up too high in a square like this all the way around. Build up an additional two. And then finally two to finish off the roof. And like on the other roofs, I'll add a spruce plank on top, some spruce fences going up the center of each face. And on this roof, I'm just gonna create a little flag. So I'll come up four high with my fences. And then I'm going to use some white wool and build down two and across two. Then coming back on the diagonal, I'll create a little L shape like this. Now we need to add the gateway arch. For this gateway, you'll need stone bricks, stone brick stairs, slabs and walls, and some dark oak fences. Begin by building straight across, joining your two towers here with some stone bricks like this. Then I'll build three across the center with this slab on the outer two and I'll place a wall connecting here and here. Now I want to create my archway in front of this, starting with two slabs and a block on either side. Then I'll come across with another slab and a stair underneath. And I want to create this archway pattern on the back side as well. So two slabs, two blocks and some more slabs and then our stairs. Then I just wanna come down two blocks with our dark oak fences. This is to create the gate. Now to really bring this build to life, I suggest draping some leaves off the top of the roof. These green azalea leaves really make the red roofs pop. And I've also added some glow liking climbing up the base of the walls. So here is the finished castle. It looks marvelous. If you enjoy creating it, please join my Discord and share a picture of your build. I'd love to see it. And I'll see you in another video.